Hey guys, my name is McCheese, and this is Ratasam. The great capital city of the Ashura in Guild Wars 2. I'll be giving you a tour of this city, which includes a look at the various areas in the city, and a look at the various vistas that are here. Vistas is a new feature that's been added to the game in the latest beta, and it's... It's basically just a short cutscene that is going to view the area from a very uh, cinematic perspective. So that's the plan. Um, that will be in the end of the video. I'll first be giving you the tour and then afterwards the vistas will be in the end. Right, so as you can see, Radasam is a huge pyramid, if you will. It is pyramid shaped at least. It uh, consists of three layers, where this is the top layer, and we'll have additional two down here, into the first here, and you can perhaps see some of the, the third layer down in the very bottom there. Besides than that, if we go out to the map here, we have the idea incubation lab, the port, the a memorial lab, and the home area as well, which is also part of the city. This is the place you'll arrive when you take the portal to, um, to Ratasam. This portal leads to the first area that you will enter as an Ashura. Also, we have portals here to the Idea Incubation Lab and um, the Docks. Otherwise, the top layer is dedicated to the three colleges, uh, the three major colleges, which is actually when you create an Ashura, you'll have to decide on which college you belong to. This area is the college of, uh, let's see if I remember this correctly, I probably don't, um, the college of statics. There's not much to it here. There's a few, uh, a few uh, profession trainers over here, like the guardian, the warrior trainer. But they are spread out over the different, the different colleges. Cutting my way in through the middle here, I'm going over to the next one, which is the dynamics college of dynamics. It looks quite sim similar. We have a different color uh, scheme in here. And we have some other trainers standing around there, like the engineer and the ranger trainer. Otherwise, we have random NPCs standing around that you can go and... Uh, well, you can't talk to just random NPCs. At least in the over there, we have a dynamics expert, Sippy, which is an NPC you can go and talk to and maybe have a conversation with. Right, before going to the last college, I'm going to stop by this area, which have portals to stuff like your um, the memorial, as I mentioned earlier, and your home, your home area. And the last one here is College of Synergetics, with the green as its main color. And again, we have some different kind of profession trainers here, elementalist trainer, necromancer, even the mesper trainers here, which will happens to be the class I play. Going back to the middle, we have an elevator here, which leads up to the Arcane Council, and I'll actually just be showing you that off as well, so that doesn't have to be separated from the rest. You'll see here the Arcane Council with the different uh, councillors, experts, guards, and they have quite the view from out here. Sadly, there's cloudy today. You can see one of the colleges down there. That'll probably be the case for every corner here. Or not for every, for every edge in this triangle-shaped room. But yes, not much to see up here, not much going on, so I'll go back to Ratsasam. I will not be showing off the the docks or the memorial directly. I will stick to the main city here where there's actually stuff to do. 
There isn't much to do in those areas, as of yet anyways. Alright, so let's venture down to the second level of Ratasam. The second level contains pretty much everything that has to do with the economy of the game. By that I mean it contains stuff like this area, which is the... Oh, get away from me, please. This area, which is the one of the crafting areas. You have a... I think we have an artificer up there. Uh, weaponsmith over there. What else do we have? Seems to almost be that for this area. Besides from that, we have... If we just go in through the middle, because that's easier, you'll see that in here we have the banks. We have guild banks, we have weapons, uh, guilds, armor and weaponsmith. We have the trading post down here, and of course various other merchants and even a repair guy over there. Going in here we have another crafting hall. Which lab do you assist at? The armorsmith station, the... this looks like the tailoring station to me, yes. And the last one here being the jivel, jiveling station. Aside from that, this area actually contains quite a brilliant view as well. Though you can only just see the the mountain range beyond beyond the clouds. Otherwise, not much to see here. And these terraces are also uh, appearing in the other two crafting stations. So, alright, I'll be going over to the last cross crafting station. For some reason, I have a problem articulating that. Coming up right here. As with the colleges above, you'll notice how the color scheme is the same down here, and I'll. Um, and it is actually the same. The same colleges that have the different, uh, different uh, trading professions down here. So we have the cooking station and a little working station here and that's actually about it of course another terrace out here we <laughs> we actually see a bit more down there but that's not much to it it's a lovely place this god i love the animations of these guys it is i, I think the animation of this sure is actually the best one i've seen in a long time i just so smooth and hilarious. Alright, but that was the second level of the city. Where everything economic related is going on. So I'll now be venturing down to the third layer. Alright, so we'll find the third level. Down a stair out here in the corner of the inner triangle, if you will. If you have a look at the map. We have everything is pretty much, you know, made like triangles in this place. So we have an inner triangle here. Then they have these crafting areas out here, which is also shaped more or less like triangles. I just guess they have a thing for that. Guess that's what you get when you grow up in a pyramid, but. Alright, so getting down here to what's. Seems mostly like some kind of casual area or a bar, if you will. Though, admittedly, everyone is, uh, well, standing around with rifles, so I'm not quite sure about that. But other than that, they have a pretty awesome aquarium down here. Looking very nice, though I don't see any fish in it. We'll follow this way around. So we are all the way down in the, well, yeah, the third layer, so which is the last one that is accessible for players. And you'll see how there's plants and roots growing everywhere, and yet still you can just see further and further down. This is going down for uh, for error, it looks like. But it also looks like the place is in heavy decay. With a lot of plants and roots growing everywhere. Right, they have some... 
huge rats with giant teeth, it looks like. Hmm. That's nice. Right, so besides from that, the inquest have uh, some sort of recruitment central down here. You're not allowed to enter it. The inquest is, as far as I know, it's a fourth college, but it's a college that doesn't show any means for reaching their goals. And they are generally the, the ones you'll be fighting in the starting area of the Ashura. There's a lot of internal conflicts going on between the colleges and a lot of competition for being the best and the strongest uh, and all that stuff. Right, going out here we at least have uh, some kind of, of bar or alchemy station here. Build around another pyramid that has some heavy roots going through it. Going down here, we will find the peacemakers' headquarters. The peacemakers are the the guards in the city, maintaining law and order. So going down here, we have the prison cells underneath the rats are some. And sadly, there's some problems with the camera in here. I've actually seen that in quite a few cities. It's uh, a bit annoying when you're trying to move around with it. But yeah, we have a number of of individuals captured down here. Right, I can just get myself a little speed boost here. But there's actually not much more to show down here on the third level. There isn't much to go down here for, actually. It seems like all the action is on the two first levels. This is more of a casual area. It's nice that it's here, for sure. And it looks gorgeous as everything else in the city, so... I'm not going to complain about that. But besides from that, I don't see much reason to go down for to go down here. Right, but that'll be a quick tour of the city. There may be a ton of secrets and all that stuff, uh, hidden areas that I haven't discovered. That's very possible, especially because uh, the pyramid is continuing downwards. So it's hard to say if there'll be some areas down there that is somehow accessible to players that I haven't found. But that is the major parts of um, the, the major areas of Ratsasan. So next up I'll just be going through the vistas real quick. It won't take long, but um, let's get to it. So we'll be starting back where we started the entire tour. At the portals leading to the starting area. Stuff like that. And we'll be moving... We'll be going for... God damn it camera, could you please? We'll be going for the vista up there, as you'll see right above my head. So, there may be multiple ways to get to them. I am actually not sure about that. But I found a way up out here. Somehow. I actually did this, like, yesterday. Um, so, we'll see if I can still do it. Alright. Then we want to go down to this one and moving on over here. Uh, maybe I should just go out here actually then. Ah, damn it. Fail. Some of them are actually rather difficult to, to get to, which I find very cool. Others are, are very straightforward, so. Um. Alright, managed to get all the way over, that's good. Ah, damn! But I think they they are marked on the on the minimap or vista, so you'll know for sure that they are in the area. But some of them can be rather hard to to spot and get to. Something I find all right, I'm just getting worse and worse at this. But that's something I actually find very cool. That you were able to uh, it's kind of a, I wouldn't say a puzzle, but it does certain platform element to it at least and it's actually a lot of fun to spot the area where, where you want to go and then try and make your way up there afterwards I could be certain that I went up this way yeah there's more like it because then you can just get straight down here it's ha rather hard to actually tell when you can walk on a route and you can't so anyways I made it so let's check it out
those vistas really give you a l much better view of the city than it's possible to do from well from just a normal character perspective let's see there isn't any vistas over there so i'll go down to the next one which is down the docks that one is one of the easier to get to just have to oops get up these stairs I think. Oh wait, this is a waste of time, to be honest. Just use the waypoint system. So there's waypoints all around the major cities, actually, in all, all the areas in Guild Wars 2. And when you're in a major city, it's free to travel to other waypoints within the city, so you might as well do that, especially because some of the cities are huge. I mean, I'm not... Rata Summon itself is a pretty big city, but it has nothing to some of the other cities in the game. That will actually take you quite a while if you have to do that uh, to get from A to B on foot. Right, so I can see the second vista here. Alright, very nice. Just a little guide of the, around the ducks. So let's see. We're back here, but there's only one more. Oh, that's the top layer, or top level, and there's only one where we have been already. There's five in total, by the way. You can see them out here. So we'll be going down to the second level in Ratasam to find the third vista. <coughs> Uh, sorry about that. Messenger is still on. Yes, I am still using Messenger. I am rather old school like that. Alright, so that one you'll see, you can see it by the light beam, it's right up there. They kind of have a wave force here. You just follow. Whoops. Sometimes your character can stand in the most unbelievable places. It's pretty impressive. Ah, damn it. Hit a wall there, I think. Right, there we go, and there. Oh right, so that was just a little view at the outside of Ratasam just to see how gigantic it actually is. It is really really impressive to be honest. And that's something that's true for every major city in this game. They are amazing. They are huge, they are well, well built, they have their own quite unique architecture to them. I am uh, very much surprised by that. Right, so coming up, we have to get into the middle of this thing, it seems. Let's see if that's even remotely possible. It may not... Oh, yeah, it's over there. Huh, I wonder. Am I missing? Oh, it's over there. Okay, cool. I'll actually just jump directly over and take this one first, I think. Um, let's see if we can spot it before going to work. There it is. Shouldn't be too difficult. I think you can just jump up here. Yeah, that's also one of the easier ones. The fast, uh, hardest part was actually to, <laughs> to spot it. Right, that was mainly a, a look at the aquarium down here, which, as far as I can tell, still doesn't have any fish in it, but it sure looks nice. Alright, and we'll be moving over to the last of the five vistas that are in Ratosum just now. See, we are quite lucky that we are able to 
Jump over here, especially because there's a long, long way down. There we are. Right, so there you have it. The last one was a look at the lower levels of uh, Ratsasam. Which indeed just looks awesome. It would be kind of nice if you have this like jumping puzzle or something down there. But I am not convinced that's the case. It's something I'll have to take a look at after lunch, I think. Anyways, that's me done. I'll have to get up from here. And to be honest, I'm pretty sure I can't jump up. How do I... How can I? Right, so I'll just give you my give a goodbye from down here. It seems like I'll be stuck here for quite a while. So, thank you for watching, and see you later.